I'm Dr. Shehina Atif, consultant pediatrician practicing in Dr. Arbani Memorial Hospital in Singh Sandra near Manipal County Road. Usually, if the baby is on breast milk, need not have any lactose intolerance. Very, very unlikely that a child may have any primary lactose intolerance. Now, there can be chances of secondary lactose intolerance. That is, if a child has an episode of gastroenteritis, diarrhea, loose motion, soon after that uh, the intestinal wall epithelium is very fragile and it leads to the lactase deficiency and because of the lactase deficiency the baby may not be able to digest the milk whatever the baby is receiving so it may be an either the breast milk or the formula milk now, in that case the, the, you may see symptoms like uh, abdominal distension frothy greenish stools increased passage of gas this may indicate that the baby is lactose intolerant now any baby who uh, who has lactose intolerance should be put on a lactose free formula milk for a period of 4 to 8 weeks if it is post a uh, diarrhea so uh, any lactose free uh, uh, is present in the market because they, they will be containing soy protein and it will help in the child uh, overcoming this particular period when the child is not having any uh, lactase enzyme so after the lactose, uh, after the period of 8 weeks, you can re uh, change back to breast milk or the formula milk. Now, if the child is only on breast milk and the child is lactose intolerant, then you can alternate the, you know, the breast milk and the lactose free, flu uh, lactose free formula milk. Now, if the baby is only on formula milk, what you have to do is completely stop the particular uh, formula milk which the child is taking and replace it by lactose free uh, formula milk for a period of uh, one or two months.